The Toronto Argonauts followed up last year's Grey Cup championship with a record-setting regular season and the passionate fans that cheer this team on, they're all united by a single word. This is absolutely crazy. I believe there's like 26,000 seats that have been sold and our maximum capacity is 28,000. This is just amazing. Argo fans really know how to pull together and make the absolute loudest noise. And fans of the Double Blue had every reason to feel confident heading into the Eastern Final. They finished the regular season with a franchise record of 16-2, including a perfect 10-0 against their own division. For some fans, the party started extra early. Yeah! Started here since 7 a.m. this morning. Um, everybody is so excited. It's nerve-wracking, it's exciting, we got butterflies. It was 8.30 in the morning we got down here and traffic was fine. And we brought all our friends by to have a good time and let's go Argos, as Chad Kelly always says. So you know the game's at 3 o'clock, why, why would you show up at 8.30? Ah, uh, to get a good parking spot. While the Argonauts may not have the biggest fan base in the city, there's no denying the passion and loyalty of its hardcore supporters. Well, it's your civic duty as a Canadian to A, like the CFL, and then be like the oldest sporting franchise in all of North America, 150 years. It's like a big extended family, and I think that uh, at the end of the day, it just it's a real outlet for everybody to get together and to cheer on a team that brings the most championships to Toronto. Of course, you can't have a tailgate party without the food, and football fans aren't shy when it comes to firing up the grill. <laughs> It's much needed, especially when you're drinking, but uh, it's it's the whole experience of uh, spending time with the family and, and feeding everyone. So you're Drinking water, right? Of, of course, of course. It's a whole day event now. It's not just a three-hour football game. It's three hours before and some hours afterwards. So you got to invest the whole day, and it's worth every minute. Unfortunately, the party is now over with the Argos losing to Montreal, denying their chance at a second straight Grey Cup championship. Rob Leth, City News.